Sarajevo is a bustling capital city that showcases the perfect blend of East and West. In today's video, we're going to show you the best things to do in Sarajevo. Good morning from Sarajevo, Bosnia. Today we are going to be going on a little DIY walking tour and we're gonna <laughs> run around and see and do as much as we can. We've actually been here for a week and we extended our stay because we enjoy the city so much. We're excited to show you around. But first, coffee. This is the eternal flame that's been burning since April 6, 1946. It's a memorial for the, the fallen soldiers and civilians from World War II. traditional Bosnian coffee. It's kind of like a cowboy coffee and a Turkish coffee. I think that's how you do it. Yeah, and it comes with sugar. And what is this? It's something. It's a Turkish I think it's Turkish. We've been here for eight days and this is our first traditional Bosnian coffee. We are strolling through the old bazaar area. It's a bunch of like little narrow streets filled with coffee shops and sweets. It's crazy when you think about it how large the Ottoman Empire was because this is very similar to Turkey and actually all the countries we've been so far in the Balkans they have these like little bazaars and it's all from the Ottoman Empire. the main little fountain within the old bazaar and legend has it if you drink from the fountain it says you'll return to the city okay Let's see if it's true I will return It's known as the Serengevo Roses, a few of those scattered around the cities. So back when there was the war going on, there was bombs, there's like little craters from where it was bombed. And the locals began to fill it in with red, for lack of a better word, I'm gonna say paint, and it resembles rose petals. And this is the first time we spotted one. Oh, 
I ordered the Hajiski Kavet, which is basically like a beef stew. Mashed potatoes, carrots, onions, mushrooms, beef stew. Looks great. Mm, tastes even better. The meat's super tender, really flavorful. I already want seconds. Sled course in Sarajevo. It was built in 1984 for the Olympics. It was like a world competition place for people to come to until the siege of Sarajevo in the early 90s, which was damaged during that. So now it's abandoned. You get to walk on it. I'll ride a skateboard. for sunset this is supposed to be one of the best places in the city to watch sunset so we're excited to check it out So it took about a half hour to walk up here. We're like, ooh, we haven't done hills in a week or two. We've been workationing, but it is beautiful. Everyone else wanted to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Have you been awesome? Yeah. Lemon. Thanks for watching. Look at this view. It's so amazing. It really is. We just stumbled across the Bosnian Brewing Company. Imagine that. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock somewhere. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Let's go see if they're open. I don't necessarily think this is the way to go. Neither do I. It's not. So the museum, yeah, closed Monday. <laughs> 